welcome. Uh, you know, we're here to talk about, we have two Colorado trips planned and um, I'm gonna mute people for right now. We have two Colorado trips planned. One is more like a wellness re retreat and one is a um, is a more of a challenge. It's a it's a hike up a a, a, a guided hike up a 14 14 er uh, Colorado 14 er So what you see behind me, this picture is the view from Lurleen Lads uh, deck in Evergreen, Colorado, and it's simply gorgeous. The house, the views, the mountains, and it's what's so cool is it's really still close to into Denver. And uh, Jeannie Edmonds and I had the chance to visit uh, Lurleen last summer. We got out of Texas and we just loving being there with her in, um, in um, Evergreen. And that's what, where we sort, sort of cooked up this plan of, of get, having a wellness retreat in, at, based at her house, based at a, well, we'd stay in Evergreen and, and in the town, which is a cool little mountain town, and then go up most every day of the retreat to her house and have a lot of the activities there, like the yoga on the deck, watercolor painting on the deck, uh, sound healing, you know, uh, the, um, the dance, the ecstatic dance, all kinds of things like that. So what we are planning to do is, you know, there's, we know going to a spa for wellness is, is fun and everything, but we want to do it where we bring all the experts to one place, this beautiful private home where we get to, um, we get to really make connections with each other, with Lurleen, who's the host and Lur the people Lurleen is bringing in for this and in the area. And then the other trip, it happens right after this one. So you can do both of them together or choose one or the other. Uh, Renee is, wave Renee. Renee, it, we went on our trip to Troncones um, in, in Mexico, the, our beach trip in um, February. And we were talking to her about, uh, about the, the, the desire among some of our group to, to climb a 14er. We took a group to hike the Inca Trail in last October. And it was such a huge accomplishment, fabulous camaraderie. And many of them have said they wanted to do something where you know they love to hike and a 14er was on the was on the bucket list for a lot of them. So we arranged it so you can go from this wellness retreat, which helps you get acclimated, to and then right up to Breckenridge where you'll will pl plan the hike. And so we're going to talk about both today, uh, so that we can um, give you answer questions and so forth. So uh, first of all, I wanted to turn it over to Lurleen, who lives who's lives in Evergreen, which has a house there, and she is um, knows a lot about the area. And Lurleen, can you tell us about the area and your house and some of the people we'll meet? Absolutely. Well, if I miss someone, you, you jump in there. So, okay. Well, ladies, thank you so much for being on the call. I'm happy to talk to you about the lovely setting of Evergreen, Colorado. As Jeannie mentioned, it's it's about 30 miles west of Denver, but we are up, um, up on the mountainside. We're at about 8,500 um, elevation. Uh, our little neighborhood there has a, just about maybe 12 houses to it. So it's very quiet where we are secluded. Um, the views are absolutely breathtaking. I think we all just for a second want to take a beat and be glad we're not there right now because they're expecting 28 inches of snow between now and Wednesday. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Crazy. Um, and as a, uh, yeah, as I always call it out, I, I started in Houston and now we live in Austin. So I am most definitively a city girl, but I have enjoyed uh, getting closer to nature up in, in Evergreen. Um, there's so much wildlife. That little town, when you come through, um, there's massive elk crossings everywhere you go and people just hit the brakes and let the, let the elk cruise on by. We have seen so much amazing wildlife near the house. And from where we are, we look down over a valley. There's just, 
it's kind of magical just being able to be there. And um, we look directly upon um, Mount Evans, which is huge. It's kind of behind Jeannie in that picture. But um, even in August, those are snow-capped mountains, um, regardless of the temperature out there. Um, August, there's no, you know, we live part-time in Austin, part-time there. You, if you've spent any time in Texas in the summer, you know why we're there in uh, June, July, and August. But it's quite lovely, even though the days can get warm um, in the 80s at night because of where we are at that elevation, the nights are so cool. Um, the majority of the houses up there don't have air conditioning. We're not one of those. Uh, so we, we have air conditioning, but lots of folks up there don't because it's just so mild even at the hottest point of the year. So the setting couldn't be any better. Um, the house is um, it's plenty of, of room. We're well over 5,000 square feet and we have um, great spaces where we can come together as a group, whether it's for a class, we have private areas as well. So like if we're bringing somebody in for treatments that you would do that you know, behind a closed door and you would feel comfortable and be adequately, it would be private. Um, a huge kitchen, which helps because we're having some chefs that are gonna come in cook wonderful food. One of them um, is really there to help us understand, you know, maybe to take away some great recipes that when you get back home, you can create some of the recipes that you experienced while you were in Evergreen and take some of the wellness with you back when you, when you leave. Um, in addition to that, Marilee Garrett, um, just point of fact, so I am a singing song, singer songwriter and my vocal coach is, is an amazing teacher. She works with people of all different uh, skill levels um, in terms of uh, sort of freeing your voice. That That's not because we wanna turn all of you guys into singers unless that's what you wanna do. Um, but it's also about sort of owning your voice. The exercises and the work that she'll be doing will help you even if in, in public speaking, it's more about uh, sort of confidence and reclaiming your voice. So that's Marilee Garrett and she's an excellent teacher. Uh, Jeannie likely can send around some information which would include her bio. Um, in addition to the great food and the setting, there'll all be some, also be some live music and we're working with the band. So we have some fun entertainment. Um, the town itself, as Jeannie mentioned, is a little mountain town. It is full of um, like a main street area that has great shops um, and uh, other restaurants. And we're drawing on, um, as a matter of fact, uh, Evergreen Art School. The head of that school is coming to teach the watercolor class. Um, you'll basically be, be doing a landscape right off the deck um, and as uh, Mount Evans will be the, the subject matter. Uh, she's got a great, um, sort of a great approach. She realizes with each of these things, you know, it's not really about, are, you know, are we trying to refine your art skills? It's really about slowing down, experiencing something that may be a little bit new, push you a little bit, but not so much that, you know, we're trying to, you know, grade your art. That's not what it's about. It's really about an internal, the internal part of that process of, uh, of get, getting centered and slowing down and kind of reclaiming some of that time for yourself. Um, did I hit most of that, Jeannie? Is there, are there other things you wanted me to mention? Yes. yes. Well, um, we're also having, uh, Jeannie Edmonds is going to be on the trip and uh, she has connected, she has connections in the area and she found somebody who's gonna have a dinner and with us and talk about cannabis. I mean, obviously we, Colorado is cannabis central and we're not talking about, you know, unless you want to being just recreational, we're talking about all the benefits, ways to, to use it, way you, you can incorporate it into your life. So we have that arranged, but I wanna open it up. We're gonna to get to the, the, the other part of the, you know, the second trip in a minute, but I wanna open it up for any questions for um, right now and to, to I wrote, wrote all of you an email today telling you that I had a more detailed itinerary up. So do you, if, if maybe you've had a chance to look at that or uh, maybe you want more information about a specific thing, any questions at this point about the trip? And you can just unmute yourself or raise your hand and I'll. Um, I had a question, yeah. I was curious why you wouldn't want to do the hike first and then the wellness after well some people have asked that and one of the reasons is it while you're at the wellness you are going to be acclimating so if you'll have you'll it'll be a great time you have to acclimate at some point if you're going to do that 14 or so why not go and do do something where you're you're re relaxing and um 
enjoying yourself and learning and then do the hike. And we'll have some, we'll have downtime, you know, after to the hike, you can, if you, you know, a hot tub or something, and you can, you can, we're going to have some breathing, breath work on the, on the, on the, um, in the wellness retreat. And you can certainly use that when you're hiking, right, Renee? <laughs> some good breathing. Hey, Jeannie, Jeannie, let me jump in for just a second. That So uh, she makes a really good point. So if you are living, like we are in Austin, just about at sea level here. So Denver is around 5,200 elevation. Evergreen is about six or 7,000, but when, from where that, from Evergreen where the lake is in town, when you come up to our house at 8,500, that is, um, you, you will feel that uh, to what degree you experience um, a little, it's a few issues with altitude, it's completely independent. You know, some people um, will find that they, it's a little challenging, but that each night that you sort of sleep it and come, come around each morning, your body does, basically it's just creating more hemoglobin. So we, I think to have the very best part of the, of the hike go well, a couple of days um, will really, um, bring, you know, help you along. So I, I, I do think that's the right order, Jeannie, just because I think people will have a, a better time, more fun. And the altitude issues aren't, you know, debilitating, but it's, it's a, it's a real thing. And if, again, if you live at sea level, it's, you know, it's just part of getting used to being at that altitude. And also the, um, the hike, even there are some people who've signed up just to do the hike without the wellness retreat. And they're coming a couple of days early just to acclimate on their own which because they know i mean the, the more acclimated you are by the, for, for when for when you do the hike the better correct renee yes that's absolutely true so altitude sickness can range anything from you know a little bit of nausea to headaches to downright um, blood pressure issues um, and everybody's different how they're affected by it so that acclimatization piece is really important and I'm sure Judy and Lisa will echo that too. Lisa and I work for REI and Lisa Harper has taught classes on how to climb a 14er. And so she's very well versed in that. Judy and Lisa and I have all climbed several of the 14ers in Colorado. And so we're very experienced with dealing with altitude, so. Which is such a, 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 such a comfort and a nice way to segue into to that trip. So, um, I mean, I've hiked in Colorado for, for years and I've never been up a 14er, but after doing the Inca Trail, which I, I, I want, I really do want to do it. And there's other people, there's, if you're acclimated and, um, you know, and you, you love hiking, it's such a great opportunity because we're going to be with women our own age who have experience like Renee, Lisa, and Judy, who are going to be just walking the whole way with us and what I found doing the Inca Trail is as there were uh, 14 of us or 12 I can't remember 12 of us that we really came together and supported one each other one another and we were able to go slowly at our own you know at a, at a reasonable pace which made all the difference I mean I've I've done hikes where I've been with people who want to go really fast and you feel like you have to go fast because you want to, you don't want to be holding people up. This will be about the, the idea is to enjoy the, the scenery while hiking and to do our best to get everyone to the top and feeling comfortable with it. And Renee and Lisa and Judy have um, also have very uh, deep knowledge of other hiking in the, we'll be, for that trip, we'll be staying in Breckenridge. We've got a beautiful lodge reserved, the Breckenridge Lodge, or the lodge at Breckenridge, is that what it's called? So mm -hmm. we will have, you know, beautiful rooms there. Uh, we'll do some shorter hikes. We'll have nice dinners either at the hotel or in Breckenridge. They have a they have a shuttle bus we can take in for, for meals. So it's going to be a, a nice uh, working our way up to the 14er, which we will do on, start on a Friday morning. And we have to, we have to start at what time, Renee? Like we have to be on the trail by like five or something. Right. We want to start as early as possible. Um, five would be a pretty conservative thing because you want to be up to the summit uh, usually before noon because we have um, really violent thunderstorms that could come in, and they can yeah, come in at any time. 
Yeah. Um, so it's no guarantee that we're going to make the summit. Um, if weather comes in, I've had, you know, had to run down a mountain at 10 a.m. because the thunderstorm came in. So because we're above Timberline, there's no safe place to be if lightning starts happening and you need to get down to tree line right away. So um, that's why we need to have this extra early start and, and to keep going up with, with headlamps and um, get up there before the thunderstorm comes and we need to be watching the weather constantly. So um, just some words of caution and safety there. Yes. Does anybody have questions about that, about the hike itself? I mean, it's, we're, it's, we're staying in Breckenridge, it's three nights, but if, if you're thinking of coming for that, like I said, just that you'd wanna come a little early to get, um, to get acclimated, but that's why we put them together. What a better way to get acclimated. And there is a discount if you do them both together. So <laughs> don't ask me how much, I gotta go, I'll have to go look at that, but it is a, a, a discount. I can, I can double check that if anybody wants to know what the discount is. Can um, I ask Judy and Lisa to just introduce themselves? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Be able to stay for the whole call. So um, just let them say what they'd like to say about um, being your guides. Okay. And, and we and we so appreciate Lisa and Judy, your your role in this, that you'd be participating. Okay, Lisa, I think you're, yeah, you're unmuted, Lisa, you can go. I think Judy's trying to talk. Oh, oh. Judy, unmute. Judy, you need to unmute. Oh, there she is. Judy, you need to unmute yourself. Okay. There you go. There, you go. <laughs> there we go. Who's going first, Lisa? Go ahead, you go, you go ahead. ahead, Judy. Go ahead, Judy, because that pizza is waiting for you. <laughs> it'll be, it's, it'll be there. Um, I don't know what to say other than I love climbing these 14ers and I've been, a, been a, not climbing as much in the last two years or maybe the pandemic started it, I don't know. We got out and recreated, but we didn't always get up a 14er. Um, yeah, the elevation part is huge when you're thinking about the two, the two um, workshops or whatever we're calling it. <laughs> um, elevation and Renee touched on the, um, you know, altitude sickness, which when I, when I talk to people that are coming from sea level, I just say, start drinking water before you leave home. Drink it on the plane, drink it while you're coming here. And, you know, a few waters and drinking plenty of water and a few Advils, thinking about getting toward even walking up here, you know, sometimes that helps. Do Advil you, and water. Good. Thanks, Ju Judy. And we, we'll have a couple more questions for you, but, uh, and Lisa? Thanks. Hi, yeah, it's uh, great. I'm excited for you guys. Um, hiking a 14 is a really uh, wonderful experience. Um, I've hiked 10 um, since I've lived in Colorado. I actually moved from Atlanta um, ah. and came, yeah, so came from basically sea level. So I know what it's like um, to come there and have to get used to it. So I do highly recommend that. Um, I did some 14ers last summer. I had, a, I was with a a father and his son, and we just happened to be hiking at the same time. And the father had to leave after the, we were doing four 14ers back to back. And um, he had to leave after the first one because he came from Kansas and wasn't prepared for the altitude. So, so it is definitely important. I, I, I totally agree with Judy. Drinking tons of water is so important to just get yourself used to Colorado because not only is the altitude difference, but we're also very dry. Right. Uh, we're a high desert, so we don't have the right. humidity like you do right. in the right. the east. So yeah, so you'll you'll feel the dryness too. So drinking tons of water will be really good. But yeah, just getting out and getting in hiking before you come out here will be great. And and being in Evergreen and doing that wonderful retreat beforehand would be amazing. And a lot of walking and walking stairs too. Mm -hmm. No, yes, exactly. and that's how. Um, so, but is there anything? I mean, as as women our age, if we're in, in reasonable health, is there any reason we shouldn't be able to do the 14er? You should. I mean, I think, I mean, anybody who's in no. reasonable health yeah. should be able to do it. Yeah. I, I mean, unless you have something from your doctor that, you know, tells you no, um, 
we've there are people that have been 80 years old that have done it. Um, I like you have I did the Inca Trail last year. Found out there was a woman the most the oldest person they had was like 82 who hiked oh the Inca Trail. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. So so that's you know so people do it. It, it. There are people that have lived here their whole lives and they love to get out. So um, but just getting a lot of walking and hiking in where you can right and what, uh, will be really good what about taking diamox to adjust to the to the altitude do you recommend it or i mean people did i know when we did the inca trail so i just didn't know if if that's something if that you recommend or is it necessary i don't know enough about it to, okay. either way to yeah to recommend it or not i know when i yeah, did the I inca trail either. Yeah, when I did the Inca Trail, we had a lot of people came from the East Coast. I was, I think, the only person that came from elevation, but everybody, every, and we had people from all ages from 15 to late 60s, and everybody did fine. So, but everybody is different. I have been on a 14er where somebody's experienced altitude sickness, and they just, they got lightheaded um, and, and had to sit like every few feet. So it, it can affect, and that person wasn't very old at all they were probably in their early 20s so everybody just gets affected differently yeah yep. so diamox is a prescription diamox is a prescription drug you need to get it from your doctor um, um, and you need to use it correctly um, so actually using it before you get to altitude i don't think it's recommended i don't know an, an awful lot about it either but you know follow your doctor's prescription and recommendations for that if you're thinking about doing that but um with uh, our approach of go slow and steady and stop and take breaks and eat and drink along the way is really important um Absolutely. and just just the slow the slow pacing and watching the weather and keeping all those things in mind um and I uh, should be able to feel fine. But that's why we want to have three leaders on the hike so that we can have some different paces if some want to go faster. Um, and I, I'm always good at bringing up the rear, bringing, being the caboose. And um, so if anyone doesn't feel like they can continue, um, then we'll have someone that can get you down because we're not going to leave anybody behind or leave you sitting anywhere. Um, so oh. that's why we have several, several leaders to uh, guide the guide the trip so any any other questions about either either trip what, what are some of your, your thoughts on it uh, uh, who's should I say who raise your hand if you're considering the just the wellness retreat I, I've got to see does anybody have their hand raised the wellness retreat what, what if you're are you anybody considering both both the wellness retreat and the hike lisa yay yay um and we have you know we had a lot of people sign up for this that haven't weren't able to to come but i'm recording so that they can see it later so we'll we'll find out but uh we already have quite a few people signed up for the 14 or hike and um i think we're either way if you're if you're coming for just one or both it's gonna it's gonna be great and you'll we'll make sure that you find what it is that you you're after for that um and i i'm what i'm really excited about is that that idea of, of I and mean, this is one of the things we do at next heart travel when we travel is we really try to to break to bring you someplace that you wouldn't show you things that you couldn't do on your own and one of those is to get it to get to a, a somebody's home that says it's just a simply gorgeous home, and it's a and to to meet the women that live in an area. So we'll be meeting in Evergreen. We'll be meeting women who who live there, who who work in the healing or you know uh, yoga and and that kind of thing. And I think it always just adds some uh, such a personal element to it. And and most of these women are going to be most of the people who are going to be working with us are going to be our age. They're you know 45 plus, and they so they understand some of the things that we go through, some of the things that we are looking for at this stage, and I think also what we've every trip that we do, it's happened. I just finished a, a trip just yesterday for um, ten women in in New York in the city, and 
you know, it's just amazing to see the camaraderie, the way, way women come together and support each other. And that's something I don't think if you just, if you go to a, a spa, yes, you can, you'll, I'm sure you'll meet people and um, you probably go with friends, whatever, but you can, you can come to a next road trip on your own with a friend, whatever. And the, the group, there's such a beautiful group dynamic because we're mm. all women who, who have, who've been through things, who are at the same stage of life. We can discuss, we can, we can discuss almost anything and go, we can go really deep as somebody was saying, what I love about next time, is we can go really deep one minute and the next minute we're just laughing. You know, we just, we can go up and down because that's what life is for at this age. We, we have all have, have different, uh, we know that it all isn't, isn't a, a day at the beach every day we have struggles and that's just the reality but to share those struggles just to talk about them with other women that's that's some one of the beauty you will be a you'll be in a a, a beautiful unit of, of of women on either of these trips and for for the trip uh up the the hiking trip i mean look we have renee judy and lisa who are local women who've done this before we I mean, I don't even know. I was trying to figure out how to, before I met Renee, I was like, I don't know how you even go about doing one of these hikes. If you're just coming from, from uh, someplace else, I don't know. You can't, it's not like you can just go out and it's do it yourself. I would never want to do that. But the idea that we're having women of our, in our same time of life, leading us and and sharing their experience that's that's a that's another beautiful thing so hey, I, Jeannie, I, could i yeah. hijack over just a second yes, because so. i want to play off of something that you just said a few minutes ago and renee i'm so happy to see you again i haven't seen you since trunconis it was really nice that renee and i first met in trunconis mexico when we all came together as a bunch of strangers really it was wonderful to meet you and get to know you but I'd love to know, and I know a little about you uh, in Colorado, maybe the other group, the rest of people in the group don't, but it's really interesting to see the types of women who come together. So a little bit of my, my background, I used to be a CNN reporter. I was a documentary filmmaker. I worked in infomercials. I've worked with startup companies the last 12 years, and now I've been working with Jeannie for the last two years. Renee, nice. Uh, nice. in case the people don't know who you are, Tell your and and let's go around. Can we do a yeah, quick? That's round? a good idea. Just yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time, and so I did a lot of kids groups and scouts and nature education. I'm an environmental educator. Um, I still work in that field, and I went to work for REI, which is the sporting uh, store. Maybe some of you know or have one in your neighborhood. Um, and so I continued my um, passion for environmental education with REI doing outreach for the store. And uh, so I educate people also on the correct footwear that they should wear and the clothing that they should select for all kinds of outdoor adventures. Um, with REI, I've traveled to um, many places internationally to do hiking and kayaking. And so that's definitely my passion is travel and the outdoors and being able to be active in these beautiful outdoor spaces. Um, cool. I, that's good. That's good. Okay. Nancy Greenberg, 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Gong. <laughs> Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, you're muted. And you're still muted, darling. She's working on it. Okay, we'll go to somebody else while she's figuring that out. Judy, I'm unmuted. Somebody... Oh, I'm sorry, unmuted. go ahead. Go, go, go. Too small. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm retired now, but I was working for a computer forensics company as a business manager. So there were many interesting stories coming from that. And before that, I just did this and that in IT. Used to be a, a programmer and, and other things in okay. IT. Fantastic, fantastic. Lisa Harper, what's your uh, what's your story? And where are you from, Nancy? By the way, did you say Mar Marietta, Georgia? Marietta, right Georgia, okay. Atlanta. Okay, Lisa. And I used to live in Austin, and my sister in law's in Houston. Wow. Nice. Okay. Um. So yeah, hi. Um, I uh, uh, an interest in. I've always had an interest in the outdoors and traveling. 
Um, I grew up in Florida and like I said, I lived in Atlanta and moved out to Colorado just to experience the mountains and something different and have loved it. I've been here 18 years uh, and mm -hmm. I get out and I hike, snowboard, run. Um, I used to do triathlons um, and I work at REI with Renee. I started actually in Atlanta. Um, so I've worked a long time, 22 years with REI. And so have talked to so many people who've done amazing, amazing things and have always learned from them and just love to help people get outside. Cool. Judy? Okay. I'm messing with my phone. I had everybody's picture on there and now I lost you. I don't know if you can still see me. We can yes, see we can. Phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I am a massage therapist now. Um, I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. Um, I've been here 27 years and I got back to Asheville and I love those mountains, but I'm telling you, ask Renee that you haven't climbed anything till you climbed one of these 14ers. I'm here to tell you, it is an experience of a lifetime. That's you find, awesome. You find your soul up here and, um, only thing I can suggest is, you know, we you keep up with the food and snacks and water on the way. And at home, if you don't have a mountain to climb, uh, when I when I trained to climb Rainier, a lot of the people went to their local football stadium. They don't have red rocks to climb like we do, but go to a local place that has a lot of stairs or the highest highest hill you got in town and just go up and down. <laughs> Well, look, uh, if you find your soul, I mean, we're all kind of looking for that. So uh, let's sign me up. Uh, okay, well, Jared. I just feel I've been in connection with my soul when I'm up there. Yeah. I, I think that's uh, that's fabulous. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? I think that's fabulous. Even though the only 13er that I climbed, I only made it 11,000 feet and the last thousand was on my hands and knees. So I am not eligible for this, <laughs> but you guys, okay, go ahead. Enjoy. Jerry. I love it. <laughs> Jerry, you're muted, darling. And these iPads are a little tricky. I know to unmute yourself. Well, Phyllis is unmuted. Phyllis is unmuted. We're going to Phyllis first. And Jerry, you figured out. Phyllis, go. Hi, guys. Um, 43 years in computer software sales and many different parts around the country, including Colorado. I lived in Boulder and then I lived in Lakewood, just down the road from um, Evergreen. Mm -hmm. So, and my son's out in Denver right now. So it's close to my heart and be happy to get back into the mountains. In fact, I'm flying out on Thursday of this week. Oh, good. For, for the weekend. We'll definitely go by REI there because you 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 already have two friends that you have there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <fantastic. laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Lisa, you can you be next while Jerry's still figuring out her iPad meeting? Lisa Barry. Oh, I didn't know which Lisa. Oh, sorry, there two Lisa's, to. there's yeah. like three of us, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I live in New York City. I grew up in um, Norman, Oklahoma. I went to law school in Denver. I had planned on living my whole life in Colorado because I grew up going to Granby to a, to a cabin that my family owned. Um, and then I met my ex-husband. So I moved to New York and I've been here 34 years. Um, I did corporate securities for about 10 years. And then I was a stay-at-home mom for about 15. And that the last seven years, I've done legal consulting for some small startups and um Love Lisa. hiking. I have uh, girlfriends that I've known since my kids were in, in elementary school that we go on a hiking trip every year. Um, three years ago, it was Morocco. Then it was, um, we were in Colorado for one. And then last year we were in Portugal. Oh my gosh. We well, Lisa, love, I love hiking. So Lisa, I'm in New York city right now. I'm on, in oh. the East village. And oh, my the, son lives in the East village. I probably see him out. All the young people in the East village. I probably uh -huh. have them I am um, also, it's funny, um, uh, Judy, I am about to move in the fall to Asheville, <laughs> but that's funny. She, uh, she might not still be on, but anyway, okay. But I, I, but I'm from the Tennessee mountains, but I've spent a lot of time in the Colorado mountains. So Lisa, uh, Lisa, are you going to get your, um, you can get some friends, hiking friends to come do this as well? 
I'd like to. I mean, we have a we have a hiking trip planned the end of September to um, Ireland, Ooh. Um, mm. which I've never been to. So that'll be that'll be beautiful. But um, I don't know. I just really want to get back out west as often as I can, because I have toyed with the idea of moving either to Colorado or Utah. Um, my two boys still live in Manhattan. So that's really the only thing that's keeping me here. <laughs> right, right. Well, uh, uh, Evergreen is a sweet little town if you're considering moving somewhere. Uh, I really know. I've heard of Evergreen. I've so heard of Go. I've heard uh, uh, Golden Collins. is nice where Renee, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Um, um, Lisa Bashu, I don't know if you were able to unmute yourself before. Is it still? Uh, uh, there you are. <laughs> I think I got it unmuted. I had to go yes. to the settings. Hi, um, my name's Lisa Bushu. I'm, uh, I live in San Antonio. Um, I uh, buy a route of uh, Rhode Island to St. Louis to San Antonio. Um, I can't go any further south, I don't think. <laughs> I, we get, go camping all the time. And my mother used to live in Colorado so we've we've done Pikes Peak um hike Pikes Peak I don't know if that's actually a 14er but uh, so uh I don't know whether that's um whether this is going to be the, I'm seriously listening to the acclamation comments because <laughs> this is about as as low as you can go here <laughs> Well, the you know if you did the wellness retreat, you would have time to acclimate, or if you come a, a few days early, you can acclimate. And uh, I, I forgot, did you say you were also interested in the wellness retreat, or you're the hiker? You're only interested in the hiking. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about both of them. But, about both. Um, of them, yeah. yeah. I'm, re I'm retiring in July on July 30th. So. Oh my gosh! Um, congratulations. congratulations! Some way to celebrate. I'm leaving uh, my second. Um, Retiring from my second career. What a way to celebrate. Well, did did everybody get their questions answered about what's going on? I mean, the itinerary is pretty clear. If you look, you see all the things we're doing day to day. The thing that I wanted to just uh, back Jeannie up on is that, <laughs> you know, she had somebody, Jeannie, I hope you don't mind me telling the story about the woman from New Jersey. So Jeannie did this insider trip of New York. And there was a woman from New Jersey who said, you know, I've been on a bunch of trips to New York. I've been to New York 50 times. Show me something I haven't seen, you know? And so she said, I've, I've got really high expectations of this trip. And by the time the trip was over, she, what did she say, Jeannie? She said, oh my God, this is A++++. plus 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 plus. I can show you her text. She, <laughs> she said, anybody who wants to know about traveling with Next Tribe, you know, tell them to get in touch with me. And that is one of the things that is, it, you know, I was looking around at other trips to Colorado, wellness retreats. I think there are cheaper ones that are more expensive ones you go to spa. So we're kind of in the middle. And what we're trying to do is just give people a really special, highly curated experience with people that we know or who have been referred to, who are the people who were come to give the massage, to teach the soul dance class, which is ecstatic dancing, which means you don't have to know any moves. You just like move in the way that the spirit moves you, right? It's really fun, especially when everybody does it all together. Um, we have a guy coming to talk about the terpenes and cannabis and all, all the benefits of that and how, whether you use it or not, or want to use it or not, it's in interesting to be informed about this. And Lurleen's music coach, I mean, the opportunity to work with him, whether you want to be a singer or not, we all have to find our voice. We all have to open that throat chakra and to be able to like present ourselves in the world, right, Lurleen? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it, it is very, I mean, I've watched her work with singers and non-singers and she even worked with a number of women who were getting ready for big presentations at work and they just needed to feel grounded when they got up there to make the presentation. So these are kinds of skills that you take with you again, you know, whether, you, whether singing is your thing or not, but if you enjoy, if you enjoy singing, I promise you, we'll be having some fun with, with that as well. I, I don't know if it's it's likely on the itinerary, but the um, the where the low, the um, accommodations are in Evergreen, 
is such a great place, the Creekside Inn. Um, those talk a little, if you haven't talked about that, Jeannie R., yeah, Jeannie uh, Ralston, talk that. about that great place. Oh. And the woman that owns it, I mean, all of it was just such, such a great experience getting to know her. Yes. So we went, when we were there last fall, we, I mean, last summer, we went to several places and this one, this Creekside Inn just blew us away because, I mean, the location, Creekside, you know, just you could go to sleep listening to the creek, but the way the cottages are set up and the owner just when we met her, she's, you know, woman our age and she just embraced the whole idea of like, you know, of, of aging boldly and the, the kind of ideas for, for what we what we uh, do at Next Tribe, you know, connect women, promote women, get them to, to, to live the best like chapter to live as fully as they can in this chapter of life. She loved that. So um, they're really comfortable. You'll, you'll be so happy. You'll just be, there's lots of benches. You'll, I can just imagine a lot of you sitting at meditating or reading or just in your downtime. So I can, I can imagine that. And I just, I'm excited to see that Jerry has, is unmuted. So we want to hear about you, Jerry. Well, I've had a very active life. I'm retired now. I'm much older than all of you. And, <laughs> and I spent most of my life in California, um, lived there. It's my first, this is my first uh, home away from there. I have a house at Lake Travis and a house in Bernie mm. and um, a husband there. That's why I'm here, but I leave as often as I can. Um, raised four daughters and seven grand, I have seven grandchildren all in California. And I did medical assisting, dental assisting. I was a CASA for many years. I work for, I do a lot of uh, volunteer work with um, uh, Impact San Antonio and the Cancer Council. I've had cancer. Um, I, had, I was on a ski team for 30 years. Wow. Uh, had a house at, 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 up in the mountains. I've been in, in Colorado all my life, many times. Um, now my life is kind of slowing down quite a bit and I'm since I'm not working full-time anymore I was just kind of looking to see some women to travel with I do have four other trips planned this year so I am doing a few other trips with other girlfriends and stuff but that's well, about it that Jerry, Jerry are you a member of Next Tribe yes I am but I've um, never done anything well you know <laughs> we need to get you to some of our events you know we're having yeah, stuff in I'm, Austin all the time I'm planning to do that and Lisa awesome. Berry we do we do events we um, we just had a bunch of events while while we had a group traveling here but we're having a what we call a Sunday salon up on the upper west the upper west side on May 7th so we'll, okay. we'll keep, keep you posted okay. I will keep that in mind because yeah. I'm I live in Chelsea, so that's easy. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that is. And I and I also want to emphasize to you guys that, uh, you know, Jerry, you said you're a lot older. We we don't know that uh, for sure, but <laughs> that the, what it, what's important for, for, on any of these trips? We have w women of all ages, you know, from I mean, not all ages, forty five up. I mean, um, it's 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 we never even talk, really talk about age and number. I mean, I know we don't talk ask people what's your age because doesn't really matter what's the spirit there's a right there really right. is a spirit that, that unites yeah. us I I think of women who are in next tribe and who especially ones who travel with us I think of them as yes women because their default is just to say yes to things you know it's like something that's, comes up and that's 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 what I, I love about it and I just feel like um that, and I can tell you know just that you're here that you have you have some of that but also that the idea of, as far as the hike, um, I, I know, you know, we did the Inca Trail. That's a huge trip. It's, you know, nine days, a lot of money getting down to Peru. I think it's a, what's beautiful is this chance for us to ha replicate that in some way, that kind of experience of, of really achieving, some, you know, having an achievement like that in a, in a, what, a way that's not so expensive to get to or, or to, to manage. So I, I do hope that you'll consider doing b both of them if you can, but in any sense of what, I think what we're really trying to, to, to help you do is to find that thing that, you know, what you're looking for right now, you know, and whether it's, you know, achievement 
or camaraderie or a new way to look at, at, at your health. Um, all of those things are, are, are what we, we, we're trying to do. And we also leave room for you to have some time on your own. And like mm -hmm. one thing that um, Lurleen has scheduled, Lurleen has likes to, uh, or I don't know if you want to, you're learning how to, um, to fly fish, but on one day you have the option of doing fly fishing classes. Mm -hmm. lean, so, so it's, you know, there's I'm not the teacher. I'm not the teacher. That's not my, that's yeah, not yeah, my yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. You're, you're taking, you're going to be taking the class too. Right. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> a school that's in downtown Green that, that teaches it. And, um, I just, I watched them. I've, the, I've been to a parking lot where they're doing sort of the preliminary training and I just was so taken with it. And it's just for women. They set these classes up that way. So I was very encouraged by that. And I, you know, it looks like a little bit of, um, you know, art and I don't know the way it all comes together, that sort of where your mind can kind of check out and you're just there in your body. And it's the rhythm of that whole process. It just looks really intriguing to me. And somehow my mind said that that's what I need. So you know, maybe that's, that's something that would appeal to you. Yeah. Well, I, I, I look at it and think of, of, uh, Brad Pitt in a river runs well, through it. And then it's like, <laughs> ah, yes. I can't, I can't guarantee that he's the teacher or anything like that. Right. <laughs> oh, dang, dang. So what other questions do you have? What other, um, any hesitations about signing up that we can talk to you about or any, um, any uh um how many people are going to be on each trip like do you have it capped or uh the cap usually we our trips cap at no more than 14 let me see what this one yeah so the wellness retreat is capped at 14 and let me just double check probably that um the other one too is that's usually the most i i i like because you want to i just like to um I don't, we never do the big, the big bus tours or anything. Yeah. 14 for that as well. So it's just, it's a, it's a more manageable number as far as, you know, and allows people to make connections. And one thing that I, I another thing I see on every trip is that, you know, you see women, you know, talking one in the morning to this group, you know, with this friend and then that, dinner the next night they're sitting with someone else and it, it's just a flow of you 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 get to know everyone in a very organic way and we don't we don't force you to to uh you have to sit with these people or whatever you know, or you have to to do certain uh greeting exercises or getting to know you exercise it just happens so naturally people just gravitate they so gravitate to each other and i think it's just this idea that if you like what, what Next Tribe is about, it's the idea of aging boldly and live, you know, having this, this, all these opportunities at this, this time of your life, instead of you know, being sad or feeling limited, if you, if you believe in that, then the other women you meet on this trip are, you're kind of self-selected. You're like already have connections. You have, you're thinking the same way. So it just makes for a really fast connection. Would you say that Renee, you were on a trip, you came and you didn't know anybody. Yeah, absolutely. I came uh, to join the beach retreat in Troncones um, at a real transition point in my life. I just gone through divorce and I just turned 60 and just feels like uh, time to remake myself. And so I saw the Next Tribe um, advertisement and met up on a Zoom call just like this one and connected with a bunch of women and it was just as Jeannie said, very organic and you could spend time with whomever you wished. And I was able to connect with uh, many new friends that I'm still in touch with now. So it's just a really wonderful experience to meet women from all over, all different experiences, all stages of life. Um, so it's a, a great way to connect and to start a new community. So yes. It was I, funny, Renee, you'll remember this. It was somebody who was on the trip, uh, had brought some conversation starter, a pack of cards to start conversations. And I said, honey, you're not going to need that. Don't no. worry. And we have there no was, There was plenty to talk about, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> and it just, it was just, I, I always like to say, people just fold each other in, you know, and, and, you know, with you in your situation, I had just gone through a divorce. And so we were able to talk about that. And there's always, you know, people who you can find who, who have, who are at, uh, going through similar things or have gone through 
and that's just a great comfort. So it's just those, those are added bonuses to all these things that we have planned on the itinerary. It's always the bonus. It's always that, that you know, special something that's hard to even, you know, pin down. It's, it's, it's just there in the air with, with these trips. So I, I do hope that I get to meet you um, in person uh, on either both or one of these trips. And if not this time, then another trip, because we're, we're, we just keep adding trips. It's really become, um, they become, become really so popular and it's so gratifying to see that people are responding and they, they, they get so much out of the trips. It means so much to me. So um, anything else that we can tell you um, before we sign up or anything uh, you want to uh, say, Lurleen, uh, you know, our, no, I, our, thank beautiful you. Host, our, our beautiful hostess in the beautiful, beautiful setting. So. Um, okay. All good. Okay. Well, if you have, I'm going to send this, I'm going to send an email tomorrow with the link to this video. And at any time you can email me, I think um, I will just put it, put it in here. This is my, um, my direct email. Oh, I can't even, if you, if you want to, if you have questions after this or anything further, I'm happy to answer. And if, if you want to, you know, I can also bring in Renee or if, if, if it's something specific about the, the hike. That's okay. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Jeannie. Thank, Thank you, Jeannie. everyone, for coming Thanks. to this, and and hope to see you and have a good evening. Looking Thank forward you. to it. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.